Hello YouTube and YouTube viewers, it is Cody Williams again, and today is going to be the Beast tutorial. So this is going to be Beast from Beauty and the Beast, it's going to be a two video tutorial. Now the first video, which is right now, is going to be on the body and a simple face. The next video is going to be on a more elaborate face on the exact same body. So hopefully we can do all this in just two videos. We have the fast restaurant design, and then we have the more elaborate party design. So... I've done Belle already on YouTube, I'll put the links in the description below, but I've got the Enchanted Rose and Belle herself. So I've been doing this for a long time and Beauty and Beast is one of my favorite Disney stories for for all time. So I'm pretty excited it got popular again and the double-edged sword to that is now Lucky's like, Master for Beast and especially the boys. So now here's how to get out of those requests. So we're going to start off with the body. This is going to take all 260s and the face for the simple design has one 350 blush for the muzzle. So we're going to start with two blue 260s and it blows up to about six fingers of a tail. One, two. Now, you can do this a little simpler for this design. You could just do the hands and feet a lot of the blue. I'm gonna show you the more elaborate version so that we can use that body on the more elaborate face we're gonna do next. But so what you do is first, you're going to make two pinch twists on each balloon, or sorry, one on each, but two of them for his elbows. So we're gonna do one pinch here for the elbow and the same thing on the other side. Hopefully the same size. So this is going to be his forearm, elbow, and his bicep. And we're going to make an ear twist just on top of the bicep. This is going to be for his shoulder. Do this on both sides. Hopefully they are about the same size. We're going to do a four finger bubble for his clavicle. And this is a body design very, very similar, identical, to the body I use for like Buzz and a lot of my superheroes have the Zero Crudy V. So we're going to connect here to this ear twist. We're going to connect this balloon back over to this ear twist, creating kind of his shoulders and his arms here. Now, we're going to take these two and bring them down and create a body. It's going to be kind of like a V. We'll push them together at the same time, take one of these balloons, and lock it through. Now, if you were doing a simple version, you would just have loop twist for the hands, and you can bring these two feet down, connect them, make loop twist for the legs, sorry, for the feet, and you'd be all done. But if we want to make it a little more elaborate, we're going to use a brown for the feet. And we're going to make two loop twists, about two, three fingers. Well, they're going to be separated though, so don't get ahead of me. So sorry, so we're going to do one loop twist first, followed by an ear twist, followed by a little one finger bubble, kind of for space, followed by another ear twist. So make a bubble and ear twist it. Make another loop twist on this side. The same size, like so. Now we're going to break off the excess and catch it, bring it back, and we're going to tie it off so it lasts forever, two weeks. So from here, we're just going to bring down the legs, try to make it as proportionate as possible, and connect each side, hopefully to the same length. Connect each side to his feet. Now we're gonna break off the excess and tie these off. Like so. So now we're gonna add his kind of like shirt design, and then we're gonna add his belt and his little button shirt and his hands. We'll just do the hands last. Actually, let's just do them now. That way, the other way. I like. So we're gonna blow up a brown 60 again. About five, six fingers of the tail. And these are the same gloves used for Mickey or Mario, anybody else. The really simple gloves I like to use for characters. So do a small loop twist, about two fingers, so it's a little smaller than his feet, followed by two ear twists. Now, whenever I do this, my favorite thing to do for kids is tell them that I'm gonna break it, throw it, catch it, save it. And I say it first, I know that this was on purpose. And do it again. And for how to be breaking and catching and throwing, get the Flare DVD on Unica89.com. On how to break balloons, throw balloons, pattern, and tricks, and things like that. So, we have his tie. Hello. You can go back on that. So, we have his hands and gloves. So, all this is is a loop twist and tear twist, and we broke them off. Now, we're just going to grab onto the knot, not the nozzle, but the knot itself, 
and twist these hands onto the body. Like so. From here, we're going to add the yellow. So the yellow to 60, and we're going to kind of trace his body with it. And one more flare trick. Bring back. All right, now. So we're going to connect the yellow to one of the ear twists on either side. And we're going to trace it along the body going down to the waist. And do this on both sides. And bring it back up to the ear twist, and you're done with it. Break off rest. This is a pretty, pretty simple bot. And when you're not teaching it, it just flies by really fast, especially if you don't add the hands and the feet. Okay, so now we're going to add his um, button shirt, the white. So all you're going to do is do two ear twists in the beginning. And you're going to make a bubble the size you want this to be in his chest. So say you want this white to stop just below the blue. You want to connect it down here. So, so. so to me, it was a two and a half three finger bubble. And that's all I need the white for. Now if I were making the more complicated beast, this white I would use for the eyes and the teeth. But since we're not doing that design, I just don't need it anymore. I can tie it off and kind of pressure fit it in right there. Now it's still not going to fit very, very well, so now we're going to use red for his kind of sash in the bottom. And then you also could use this red for a cape if you wanted to. So all we're going to do with this is just kind of trace in the bottom. Lock it. Gonna tie it together. This is just making a little belt around its body. So here's the really simple body design for Beast. You get some of those elements of he's wearing a fancy shirt, he's got that trim to it, he's got the sash and the belt, and you could have added the cape on the back if you wanted to. And if you really wanted to add a tailcoat, this is extra credit. Just uh, take either an excess of one of the blues that you broke, or, um, or just blow up a new one. And about three fingers in, make a bubble, and push it above the belt. Sorry, below the belt. Come back. And do the same thing to the side. Make it three fingers long so they're even. And you kind of push it in and bend them up. If you wanted a tailcoat, that is a way that you could add a tailcoat to it. I, I very rarely add that detail, and usually if I do do that, I would add ear twists here just a little bit cleaner. But here is the body for Beast. So this is the same body you'll use for either design. You can change the portions a little bit if you want to make the body a little bit bigger for the bigger head we're going to make in the next video. But I like having big heads and little bodies. It kind of looks like this Pops character is very really popular, and I just like how that looks, the bobbleheads kind of. And I like to be more detail and focus on the face of the character. Except for this next part. This design has a very simple face. <laughs> and I'm very bad at drawing, spoiler. So um, we're going to need a brown 60 for the base of his face. And we're going to start at one of the ear twists here. We're going to make a one finger bubble, followed by an ear twist, followed by a bubble the same size as his shoulders, or clavicle, and another ear twist. We're going to bring this back again to the side. Now, it's easier to add the blush now and then do the last brown, than finish all the brown now and add blush later. So take a blush 350 and attach that to either side of the beast head. Trace it over to the center. And bring off the excess. That's all you need it for. Now, trace the brown over above the blush. So it arcs a little bit, kind of like this in the back. We're kind of making a bull face. Because the new beast, they focus more on that yeah, 
uh, the real animalistic look versus the actual cartoon of it. So we, the new version, I think, is easier to make than the old version. So make it a double the same size, and this is going to finish it off. So I'm going to tie it and add that over here. From here, we're going to add some horns to them. This part's really simple, just blow up a black balloon halfway. I don't make his horns very elaborate because the face is so small, so I'm just going to do like a two finger bubble. You could do like bendy horns like you do for the next face on it, but you really don't need to. We attach the ear twist, I'm going to take the air out and manipulate it down to the side so you don't see it and there's no breaking editing. Make another two finger bubble, take off the excess. From here, the rest is all just drawing. So technically your beast is done. Now, I'm gonna show you how I draw this. And I always, I always hate drawing on YouTube videos because everyone realizes it's just how bad it is. So I, I use stickers a lot when I can. But I don't have any today, none for beast. So for the face, what I like to do is I'm gonna do the nose first. I'm gonna do two circles pretty close together. I'm going to connect the top of them and halfway through, so it's a little bit more kind of nosy. I'm going to kind of make a volcano and we're going to come up like so. But it's not going to connect on top. I'm actually going to leave it open. I'm going to draw two or three lines coming down just to make that ridges of his nose. I'm going to need a white paint pen. I know I even use paint pens. I'm still this bad. And we're going to do the underbite kind of fangs he has here. So I'm just going to do two triangles. We're making trees. Thanks, Bob Ross. All right, and then, oh, while we have this out, we're going to make two white circles for the eyes. And this pen's kind of dry, so it doesn't pop it. This is the part where Cody's quiet, because he's not very good at this and concentrates. Oh, All right, now, we're going to do, for the bottom, we're just going to do kind of a frown, tracing the bottom of the triangles. And I'm going to trace the white, there we go, of the eyes. has those sparkling blue eyes. The blue eyes are really important because that gives them a human look behind the beast. And they really emphasize on that. Now he looks a little bit super surprised. <laughs> like, Hoo! so we're going to give the eyebrows. I have a sneaking suspicion that brown will look better than black. You do black or brown. I kind of like how the brown looks. I'm not very good. No, I'm not going to keep drawing. I'm going to keep wanting <laughs> to add more and more details for what I brown. No, no, no. I know I can't draw well. So here is a really simple beast design you can make. And like I mentioned, this really is more about showing you the body. And we're going to make the next video with more elaborate face. And there's very minimal drawing. So this is the beast I would make. I'm in more of a hurry. And this part, the white, is just held by pressure. With the other design, the neck holds on to it and holds it tighter, but for now, it's really just pressured in there. So here is the simple beast. Now again, you don't have to add the feet and the paws, so you can make it a little quicker this way, and you don't have to. You can just do a loop twist here if you don't want to add more details here, and the face is really fast as long as you can draw. Okay, I can't. Probably should trace the teeth, though. Anyway, so here is the first simple beast. You guys have a great day today, but tomorrow, stay tuned for the next design tutorial, or the next section on the more complicated face. That. Yeah. See you guys soon.